Okay, welcome to Homeschool Gym Class, video series on arm wrestling. Uh, thanks to Ryan Bowen and Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling for putting this together. They're basically the producer, the executive producer, special effects coordinator, charge of editing, everything else. I'm Todd Hutchings. Uh, theme music's by Violent Femmes. And... Uh, also in the studio is my wife Allie, and she's in charge of everything else. Okay, arm wrestling number one. We're probably going to focus on training for the most part. But once you decide to take up arm wrestling, whether it's to get prize money or competition or free t-shirts, usually it's the free t-shirts. There's lots of free t-shirts in arm wrestling. But the very number one thing you can do to get good at arm wrestling is to compete. If you do nothing but just go to tournaments, you will meet other people who arm wrestle, you'll get to uh, try different things, you'll learn other stuff. So, uh, And besides, if you don't compete, there's really no reason to arm wrestle because whether you're getting better or not, it doesn't really matter because you don't actually get to prove it to anybody. So, we'll make that one. Second, so the number two thing you should do when you're preparing for arm wrestling is practice. Practice gives you a little bit more control on what you get to do. It gives you a little bit more do-overs. You get to get more in-depth questions and answers and stuff. The problem with practice is it's really hard to control the level and the volume you're doing. And it's also hard to control what your training partners do. And if your training partners just keep beating you to the pad, Mostly what you'll learn is soreness, but practice is number two. After competition and practice, we now start getting into the weight training and the off-table off -table, um, conditioning and such. In this case, we will work on our vectors. A lot of people use the word angles when they're talking about arm wrestling. You use angles around me when you're talking about arm wrestling, you get a foul. If you do not know the difference between a vector and an angle, when this video is over, before you click over and start watching pornography, go figure out the difference between vectors and angles. We will do an episode on vectors and angles, probably at number three or number four. Okay, after your weight training your vectors, then the, the next most important thing you should work on is your rehabilitation. Uh, competition and practice makes you very sore when you start working out in the gym and you start working on your vectors whether it's back pressure side pressure up pressure down pressure um, you, you get that soreness you get that tooth achy feeling in your elbows and your wrists every arm wrestler is sore we get a lot of questions here about what to do about soreness what to do about how to make it feel better or something like that Mostly, you yeah, just live with it. Just suck it up, buttercup. As long as you're arm wrestling, you're going to be sore. Okay, after, after rehabilitation, the next thing in planning your workout routine is to work on your, your wrists and your arms. And that's mostly just to support the vector work we're going to do. Um, later. Now this is this right here is a basic core routine for arm wrestling. After this it kind of depends what weight class you compete in. But after this we will follow up with training rowing motions, the bench press, um, eight, the deadlift, And the squat. Wow, that's horrible. Gotta let the squat make sure I'm not running out of time. Okay, then we'll come over here to number nine. We finally start training our core. And after nine, 
we work we train for work capacity um a brief word on these these big these big movements right here if you have to cut weight to make your weight class you don't want to do a lot of these big heavy heavy lifts and stuff because they build a lot of muscle mass it adds a lot of weight you can still train these if you choose to but primarily through isometrics not full rep motions not plyometrics stuff like that we will talk about isometrics and plyometrics in a later version but when this video is over go learn isometrics and plyometrics just with the done. Finally, you train your core. That basically supports the work you're going to do when you're deadlifting, squatting, rowing, and benching. Your core training isn't real important in arm wrestling only because one foot's on the floor, one free hand's on the peg, your elbow's down, your hip's up against the table, your core is very supported while you're arm wrestling. And after core, just work capacity. You don't need a whole lot of... Uh, work capacity to get through a arm wrestling tournament, but you do need a whole lot of work capacity to go through the training to get you to the tournament. Most tournaments, if you go, if you win six matches undefeated, you basically won the tournament. Maybe restarts, fault starts, something like that gets you into six, you know, 12, 13 matches to win a tournament. Not a whole lot of volume. All right, and that 12 to 13 uh, starts to do a tournament. It's usually spread out over four or five hours. That's uh, the super match formats. Uh, say you got to pull all six matches. You get fault starts, restarts. You're still talking 10 or 12 matches, but it's usually over. You know, it's back to back to back. That's a little bit more intense. Um, before we get into our weight training stuff. We <laughs> okay. Let's start talking about training right now. We're going to talk about all of our weight training efforts here are all based off of the the work done in Columbus at the West Side Barbell System. Go to lots of information there. They'll teach you everything you need to know about getting strong, everything you need to know about getting powerful, and how to how to rehab. It's primarily set up for powerlifting. We take a few liberties with it for arm wrestling because arm wrestling doesn't train as many big muscle groups as they do but everything we're going to talk about comes from there so you'll have other homework assignments um, afterwards besides studying what a vector is and isometrics and plyometrics okay uh, I guess That's it for today. That should, uh, we'll see you in the next video series. Thanks. <laughs>